let's play a series of tag yourself games. So I have various items here and we're just going to find out which things you identify with today or you vibe with in general. And if you want to close your eyes, you can. I'll give you a brief description so that you can still play along. You can answer in your head or you can answer in the comments, whichever one you want. Okay, before we get started, a word from today's sponsor, me. I got merch. If you guys want it, I'll keep this so brief, okay? I got merch. If you want, the link is in the description. And I'm also on Spotify and Apple Music and other listening platforms and things like that. If you want to listen to me there, okay, let's get started. All right, so starting off, I have a series of cards. So we've got this crying chihuahua. We've got this cat with a little expectant face and a mouth that is just far too wide for its face. We've got this monkey on a cell phone. We've got a little Bijon Frise puppy that looks, quite frankly, kind of stoned and has a little party hat. A little birthday party hat. We've got another monkey on the phone, but this one's like not on a call. It's just like looking at the phone and then being disappointed by what it saw. And then we've got whatever this creature is. It's some weird cat looking creature, like a cat from the Grinch. And it's kind of giving an expression of like, what the hell? So that's what we've got. Which one would you say that you identify with? I think the stone dog looks kind of mischievous too, so if that gives you any hints or any more context. I think I identify with the cat with the big mouth. And sometimes the crying chihuahua, but also sometimes the what the hell face. So it's kind of, I honestly would say I identify with all of these. These are like all the facets of my personality, apparently. But I would say today, I'm the cat with the mouth. What do you think you are today? And what do you think you are in general? Let's do this coloring book now. It's a cutie little coloring book. Glassy World. I'm just gonna do the cover because I have a lot of stuff. Um, yeah, okay. So, we've got like a can, a little soda can, and inside there's two little bunnies. There's one bigger bunny with a flower on its head. There's a smaller bunny with a little scarf. And... There's some leaves, and some red flowers, and some fruits. So, anything on here, anything on here, if you identify with it, which one would it be? Which one do you feel like you are today? And, which one would you say, which one would you say you are in general? I would say... Today, I feel like this big bunny with the flower. In general, I think I'm the can. I think I'm the soda can. What about you? Okay. I've also got all of my Nintendo Switch Pro controllers. Let's find out which controller you are. Okay. So, we've got first a simple white and red controller. It's mostly white on the front and then red on the sides. I mean, sorry, red on the back. And it's got black joysticks, black Y, X, B, A buttons, but the letters are in red. And the little plus side ones, I forgot the directional, the directional buttons <laughs> are red and like a shiny red. It's like a little, it's like a 
the first one. We've got a sleek, elegant, all-black controller, mostly matte black with some accents of reflective black. Glossy black, I guess? Yeah. Everything on it is black. The buttons are all matte black and so are the joysticks. Okay, and then I have two more. Let's see. We've got a cutie little Pinkie Pie. Cute little pink Pro Controller that looks like a cat. So it's got little cat ears by the triggers. And little cat paws where you hold and white buttons and joysticks with a couple of pink buttons a few pink buttons and the middle one looks like a nosy and there's a little mouth at the bottom so that's the pink cat pro controller next and last but not least, this Animal Crossing Pro Controller. So, this one is turquoise with brown buttons and joysticks. It says Animal Crossing at the top. Animal Crossing. And has, uh, not Tom Nook, what's his name? K.K. Slider. Has K.K. Slider on one side. And he's there with his little guitar, rocking out. You know. So, that's the last one. So, which one do you identify with today and or in general? We've got Animal Crossing. Pink Cat. Red and White. All Black. Alright, which one do you identify with? I think generally, not the Animal Crossing one, that one's eliminated for me. I'm these two. I'm the pink cat and the all black. These are my two personalities and they're dating. Okay, we got slimes. We've got three slimes. So, we've got this one that's called baby axolotl and it's light pink and I think it's like a crunchy one. Let's find out. Oh, yeah. Mm, and it smells like floral shampoo. So that's Baby Axolotl. Uh-oh. That's Baby Axolotl. Where the hell's the tag? There's... Slime number two is... Lavender Cow. Slime number two is... This one is like a plush cloud slime, so, and it smells like cream and lavender. Mm. It's got a cow and a little piece of lavender. And watch this. Okay, hold on. I'm going to take the little piece of lavender. If you're seeing this, it's really cool. Look at the way that... Whoa! Are you kidding me? Like how cool that is. Y'all know I love slime. So it's like a cloudy slime 
or like cottony. Slime number two. Put the little lavender back. Put the little cow back. Ooh. Ooh. And slime number three. Anime forest fizz. This one I think is also a crunchy slime. Mmm, that smells like shampoo too, but different, like, like a fresh and fruity shampoo. I have to spray these slimes, but I don't know where I put the spray, so either way they're making really nice sounds. Slime number three, Anime Forest Fizz. And I'm trying to just get it off of me. <laughs> okay, good enough. I'll just wipe that on my leg and deal with it later. Okay, so that's slime number three. Let's review so you can pick one. Baby Axolotl, the pink one that smells like flowers. Lavender Cow, the purple one that smells like creamy lavender. And Anime Forest Fizz that smells like fruity shampoo. Which one are you? I would say I am definitely Lavender Cow, no question about it. And sometimes I might identify as these other two on any given day, but Lavender Cow is like generally how I feel. Let's do another coloring book. This one's like a cute and creepy sort of vibe. So just a warning. Okay. So we've got this one called Kawaii Night Mare. So we've got lots to identify with here. So we've got big bear that's all stitched up with a scarf and one eye is a button with a skull on it. The bear is a baby blue and it's got pink little paw pads and a pink and purple striped scarf. Then we've got little marshmallows with faces on them. Or are those candles? They're probably candles. They look like marshmallows. They're candles. <laughs> okay, then we've got little candles with smiley faces on it. There's one and two, and then a third one is melting because it's got fire on it, so it's kind of like, ah, and there's also fire, and the fire has eyes. We've got a pink ghost with a happy face, a green ghost, but it looks like a, an octopus, a green octopus ghost, another little flame that isn't melting a candle, a green eyeball with blue wings. A amber, an amber eyeball with light orange wings. And I think that's it. And if you're watching with your eyes open and you want to pick like a random item just from the picture itself, you absolutely can. Which one would you say that you are? Is there one that you vibe with specifically today that's different than the one you would vibe with in general? Now let's do 
the back that has different little pictures. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pictures. So I'm going to describe them to you. We've got picture number one is a cutie little grim reaper in front of a rainbow. Picture number two is a three-headed cat. Picture number three is a cat with horns and a bunch of little skulls at the bottom. Picture number four is an angry pineapple with some bats in front of a moon. Picture number five is a double scoop ice cream cone, but the scoops have faces and they kind of look like skulls. And that octopus is in there again for some reason. Picture number six is like the like Satan goat, but it's cute. <laughs> Picture number what the heck? Six, seven. Picture number seven is a plague doctor, but cutesy with little flowers. Picture number eight is a cute little happy frog with a a scythe, like a Grim Reaper thingy. And picture number nine, oh my god, is a snake with one eye and a tiny, like, mouse. Oh god, on top of a pentagram. So, <laughs> which one do you identify with <laughs> out of all of these? This one's pretty intense. I think... For me, I am the cat with the horns, and sometimes the three-headed cat. Actually, I think generally I'm the three-headed cat, but today I'm the cat with the horns. Which one are you? We're gonna break up the pattern a little bit and go to something different. I have some makeup palettes that always- they always have ridiculous names on eyeshadow palettes for some reason. So let's see what this one has. I didn't actually check these before uh, starting to film, so <laughs> we'll see how that goes. The lighting's a little different today, I don't know if you've already noticed, but it's so that you guys can actually see everything. It's driving me insane though because I don't like how bright it is, but also you need to be able to see it. Anyway. Let's see what we've got. So, I'm just going to name the colors. If you're- if you've got your eyes closed, just go based off of names. If you've got your eyes open, you can see the colors. Um, because it's a lot to- you know what? I'll do it. I'll, I'll name the colors. Let's do it. Let's see if I can do this. The first color is... This is so difficult to do because I have to look at it, but also have to show you. <laughs> the first color is a shimmery beige called Trippin. The second color is like an apricot and it's called Mind Slip. The third color is a shimmery darker apricot that is called Dazed. Okay, here we go. I got the crying chihuahua to cover the, the mirror so I can just show these to you and talk about them. Okay. The next color is like a more matte sort of muted apricot called Hacked. The next one is like a deep burnt orange with a purple shimmer called VR. The one after that, sorry my mouth just squeaked, anyway, the one after that is a very, very, very light mint green with some shimmer called Lucid. The one after that is a matte lavender called Optimized. The next one is a shimmery magenta called Warning. The next one is a shimmery dark purple called Cyberpunk. The one after that 
is a shimmery, lighter purple, but still sort of on the dark side, on the dark side, called Euphoric. The next one after that is a darker, more shimmery purple called Purple Dust. And the last one is like a weird purple brown called Digital. So I'm gonna go over the names again, okay? Here we go. We've got Trippin, Mind Slip, Dazed, Hacked, VR, Lucid, Optimized, Warning, Cyberpunk, Euphoric, Purple Dust, and Digital. Which one would you say that you are today? And which one would you say that you are in general? I think today, 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 I'm purple dust and a little bit of dazed. And generally, I'm cyberpunk. Sorry, I, I dropped the ballot. That's what I just yelled fuck about. Okay. Okay, one last coloring book we've got is called Pocket Room. So it's a bunch of teeny tiny little rooms. Um, this one, you can pick any item in this room. If you're listening with your eyes closed or on Spotify or something, um, then I will just describe as many items as I possibly can. <laughs> and then we can pick, we'll do like the, the main items. So it's like a pretty neon gamer girl sort of room, if you, if that helps with the vibe. We've got a pink twin bed, a big purple teddy bear. We've got a blue trash can, a full length mirror, a pink clock, some pink curtains, a cactus, a different type of succulent that I don't know what they called, the ones that look like they're like big leaves, and a cactus that looks like it belongs in a fishbowl. We've got just a dog's head plushie, some bouncy balls, a stack of books, Pretty sure that's a bong. Yeah, that's a crystal ball bong. I actually have that. It's in the setup. You see that right there? That's it. I can't bring it forward because I don't know how uh, YouTube's rules are, but I have that right there. Anyway, we've got a computer that looks like a Mac computer. We've got a red coffee cup, another succulent with littler leaves, a bag of candy, some bear slippers yeah and a picture frame I guess so which item oh and there's a welcome mat which oh and a water bottle <laughs> okay which item in this room would you say that you identify with the most identify the most with the little doggy head. I don't know why. Um, yeah, I think that's just it. Like, that's me today, tomorrow, and yesterday. plan this one out, so we'll see how it works, but let's do Lisa Frank stickers. Let's see. I want to talk to you now. Ooh, okay, this is the perfect page. All right, so all of these are rectangular stickers, portrait mode. So I'm going to just uh, go through them and let you know what's going on. 
Okay, we've got a swan. Here, I'll move it closer so you can see it too. We've got a swan. Two aliens in a punch buggy driving on a rainbow. We've got a rainbow pegasus. We've got the classic Lisa Frank cheetah. The classic Lisa Frank dolphins. The blue and pink dolphins. A family of penguins. Two dogs with rainbow spots. A big panda and a little panda. And they're sitting back to back. We've got a, a horse with a rainbow mane. A horse with a rainbow mane. We've got a wolf with a, a polar bear in the background and some and one penguin in the foreground. We've got the classic Lisa Frank tiger with a rainbow tiger striped background. We've got a unicorn in front of a rainbow. We've got the classic Lisa Frank dolphins again, but this time there's three. We've got blue, purple, pink. We've got two puppies, two golden retrievers sharing an ice cream sundae on the beach. We've got two killer whales. We've got two, are those like arctic foxes? Ar are like white tigers, something like that. Um, they're cute. Then they have uh, rainbow spots. We've got three dogs on top of a rainbow heart. The dogs are a little purple doggy, a black and white, I think, French bulldog, and a pink shih tzu. I forgot the breed of the purple one. Then we've got a little... What's that shit? What's that called? A deer. We've got a little deer, like Bambi, with some girl sitting on top, but it's like a fairy. She's like really small. We've got a purple cat with a yellow cat hugging it from the top and little flowers surrounding them. And we've got a family of polar bears. So that was a lot. So you can pick what sticker you identify with, or maybe what character you identify with, so just tag yourself. Which one do you identify with most? Or which one do you identify with today? I identify with the aliens in the car on the rainbow, generally. And today... Oh, the rainbow dogs are holding a paintbrush. That's really cute. And today... I think I'm Bambi. I'm gonna move them closer so you can take a closer look. It won't focus that close up. Sorry, I tried. But I think you can still get My mouth made a weird sound again. I'm so sorry. She is just going off. Has a mind of her own. Okay, anyway. That is everything. I love Tag Yourself games. Let me know if you want me to do another one like this. Um, because I have a lot of fun. Oh, you know what? Let's close this off with you tagging yourself as something in my setup. I'm going to make this light dimmer though. It was dying, so I had to like do a weird setup. And also now my window is open so the lighting's a bit diffused here. So, well, whatever. At least you can see my setup a little bit better. So, tag yourself with something in my setup. We've got Persephone the unicorn. We've got one fake candle because the other one died. We've got the million subscriber plaque. We've got a pink an iridescent fan, a blue neon cloud, 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 a pink neon moon, pink neon moon, 
a giant lollipop. A tiny glow-in-the-dark cat plushie. A giant Mario mushroom plushie. A small Kirby plushie. A small Guritama plushie. A pink cow plushie. An Appa plushie. Uh, what are those rainbow slugs that make the cool sound? The heck was that? I think my mic stand's gonna fall over there. Everything's gonna be okay. <laughs> I'll let you guys know if it ends up falling. This reminds me of the time there was the baby lizard in my room. Somebody reminded me of that the other day and I had totally forgotten that there was a baby lizard in my room at one point. Anyway, we have Lexa from the Hundred's eyes on a painting, a red rose, a tiny canvas of a moon and plants. We've got a fake plant that's like up. Oh, and we've also got a fake plant that's draping down. We've got the crystal ball bong. We've got the hundred thousand subscriber block. We've got the iridescent flower. We have the Luna Bloom neon sign with Loa's thing from Apex Legends. We've got a gold candle. We've got another candle that is themed after Kirby's Dreamland. We've got a notebook that's like a sequined notebook that goes from blue to purple in the back. We've got a little teddy bear squishmallow and a basket of succulents. So which item from my setup do you identify with the most? I think that I identify with the pink, not, sorry, I got purple and pink confused because we had a purple cow earlier. I identify with the pink cow the most. And Gurethama and Persephone. Mix those all together and that is what I identify with. What about you? 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 Okay, that's everything. Thanks for playing. Let me know if you want me to do another one. Let me know if you have ideas for how I can structure it differently or something like that. Uh, I just wanted to give this a try because I love these games and I feel like sometimes having like a little game to play before you fall asleep can be really nice, which is part of why I wanted to make sure that I could describe the things to you so that you could play along and close your eyes. So, anyway, love you.